Travel down Highway 71 towards Bastrop and you'll come across a store that seems to spring up out of nowhere. A towering electronic sign and 20-foot squirrel leaves no secret as to what you will find inside. Pecans. Shelled, cracked, and candy pecans of all shapes and sizes are found inside the Berdal Pecan Candy and Gift Company. These are the months that we live for. It's fun, it's exciting. We are happy to have pecans, happy to have lots and lots of candies. This time of year, that is what our customers are looking for, and um, lots of gift giving, and uh, lots of shipping out packages. So it's a fun time of year here. The whole venture began 32 years ago, when Jennifer's parents, Hal and Lisa Berdahl, started selling in-shell pecans out of their garage. Today, the 15,000 tree orchard spans 340 acres. Seven years ago, the retail store was built. Jennifer and her husband, Jared, own the store, while the Berdahls run the orchard. It's a perfect family marriage of ideas and innovation. While the holidays bring out the highest demand for pecans and pecan treats, the popularity of the nut is growing exponentially overseas. China has come into the market. A lot of other growers do have an incentive to ship over there, so uh, thus driving prices up. And on top of all that, we have the drought this year. The state's pecan yield could be down by as much as 40 percent from last year, from 50 million pounds to 30 million. At that number, Texas will drop from its number two position behind Georgia to the number three pecan producing state. Many orchards in the state feared a massive tree die off because of the drought. The Berdahl orchard switched from sprinklers to a drip irrigation system. The tree survived, but the overall pecan crop was about a third of what is usual in a normal year. Coupled with the fact the ever growing demand from China and the price of pecans has jumped 20% in the past year. Half of all exported pecans will be shipped to China this year. China, Hong Kong, and Vietnam purchased 27% of the U.S. crop last year. Those same three countries bought only 1% in 2005. We get emails and phone calls every day here at the store from China. Do you have pecans available? We want 50 tons. We, I mean, they want a lot of pecans. Last year, the Berdahls sold what excess they had to China. This year, every nut is marketed throughout the store. The Walmack store usually sells six different varieties of pecans each year, but the drought has forced them down to three. While the average size is a bit smaller than years past, the quality has remained. The partnership with their parents' orchard has allowed the Walmacks to keep the price increase at the store to around 8%. The plan is to keep prices where consumers can still afford the holiday treat. The demand for pecans will most likely help an industry viewed as lagging behind other nut industries catch up with its rising global demand. There's all kinds of equipment and machinery for other types of nuts and the pecan industry is just a little bit further behind. I would expect with the demand for them and us exporting so many to China that we'll probably catch up. For TFB News, Ed Wolf, Cedar Creek.